I have the pleasure today to introduce David Dewey from Fujikura Kazai. And he is uh, sales at Fujikura Kazai in the marketing department, electronic materials division. And we, he will tell us a bit about materials with high magnetic perma permeability for RFID and automotive battery case applications. David, okay. over to you. Have fun. Okay, I will try. Okay, uh, thank you for the introduction. Um, as he said, I'm Dave Dewey with Fujikura Kase. Uh, I have been asked to uh, talk a little bit about our magnetic shielding materials. Uh, so let me just go ahead and jump right into a quick introduction to Fujikura Kase, who we are and what we do. So Fujikura Kase has been around since about 1938. We were originally the acrylic glass division of a company called Fujikura. So Fujikura Kase means basically Fujikura chemical, and that's what we do. Our base, our, uh, base know-how is coating chemical, uh, dispersion, formulation of polymer and polymer resins. So we have five divisions. We have our uh, coatings for plastics division, uh, making hard coats, clear coats, color coats for automotive, but also for uh, packaging, such as cosmetic packaging, but also uh, mobile phone and other plastic uh, material coatings. Then we have our functional polymers division. They make glue and adhesive and some of the base polymer pastes that my division uses. Then we have the medical materials division. They make polymer-based diagnostic agents. Um, they're relatively new, but they're making some really interesting and exciting new polymer materials. And then we have the architectural coatings division. This is paints for buildings, for houses, but also uh, paints for smaller scale things such as hobby paints and things like that. And then that brings us to the electronics materials division. My division, we make dotite, which I will uh, talk a little bit about uh, now. So Dotite was developed in 1957, and we were the first in Japan to make this kind of material. So our core competencies, our uh, expertise is the formulation and dispersion of resin. Again, this is our uh, what we do as Fujikura Kase, what we do as a company. But also we have expertise in manufacturing and design of the metal fillers themselves. Again, because we were the first in Japan to make this material, we had to know how to make it from the ground up. Uh, and so we do maintain some uh, silver powder production uh, facilities in our factory here in Japan. And uh, we do develop and produce some of our own. Uh, you, yes. It seems, is it frozen? Are you on slide three? I am on slide three, yes. Sorry, then keep going. Okay, all right, <laughs> good. Uh, okay, um, Okay. so uh, yes, we make some of the uh, metallic powders uh, on our own and we design some of them uh, on our own. And in addition to that, we have uh, full R&D uh, facilities to evaluate the, the paste properties and the characteristics of the cured films, but also to develop new materials to meet customers' requests, uh, sometimes customizing uh, existing materials uh, and sometimes creating new materials for new applications. So talking about the basics of Dotype, for a lot of the people listening, I think that this is probably some very basic information, but just to go over what Dotype is, uh, Dotype is our brand of electrically conducted materials and peripheral materials such as the adhesives and the solvents that we uh, produce. And so dotite at its core is starting with a binder resin. You have uh, a resin that's binding the metallic powders and it, it adheres to the substrate. So we're typically working with metallic powders, um, and I'll talk about that in a minute. The next component is a solvent. So in Japanese, we refer to all of our materials as pastes. In English, of course, we call them inks, adhesives, uh, paints, and so the solvent is one of the components that is determining how you're using the material, how what its viscosity is, whether it's sprayable, printable, uh, dispensable. And then we have our electrically conductive powder. Typically, we're working with silver. That's what we've been using since the 50s. Um, but sometimes we use uh, silver, uh, copper coated silver, um, excuse me, silver coated copper, uh, nickel, uh, carbon, and some, uh, and some other materials. Uh, we've developed uh, some other conductive materials uh, as well. And so when we're talking about shielding, so today I'm talking about shielding. EMI shielding is 